Dad, on a first date, what's how much money should you spend? Um, I on mean, average. Well, you go on a dinner. First date for me is like a dinner. Mm -hmm. So we go into like you know STK something like that. Woo! <laughs> you got money. <laughs> so we are the financial literacy. So guys. yeah, I mean you know we go we <laughs> drinks and stuff like that. So I think like 500, 300. Wow. For, okay, that's average. Yeah, now that's what if she is like ordering shots of nineteen forty two? Yeah, let's oh, keep it going. Even more. Keep it, keep it's it fine. Going. Okay, <laughs> nice vibes. Nice vibes. The vibes. <laughs> yeah. You can't. You can't kill the vibes. Okay. So you got to keep the vibes going. <laughs> now I know exactly what everybody is going to say. Before you even say it, I know what you're going to say. The majority of men who don't believe in travel abroad will likely say something to the effect of, man, if that's too much money for you, bro, you better get your bread up. You better start making more money. You better start doing this. You better start doing that. As opposed to thinking about it from the logical perspective, $500 on a meal, that's a plane ticket abroad for a lot of people. On any given day before pandemic and shit like that, you could fly from California to Manila, Philippines for roughly about $500. You could do your research on that, right? But... I like to look at it like most people from a business perspective. Well, not most people, but I like to look at it from a business perspective. If there's zero guarantees, right? I can't guarantee that the night's going to end well. Is that 500 really worth the date? Could that 500 go to something more beneficial than just that date, right? From that perspective, could that 500 have been utilized in far better ways than just on one day. Now I get it. You know, EYL, shout out to them, Earn Your Leisure. I love those brothers, man. Those guys are probably, along with uh, Wall Street Trapper and them, and uh, Ian, um, one of the best groups of individuals that talk about investing for the long term. So from their business perspective, I rock with them heavy. And they got money to be able to spend on $500 dates plus, right? And then, of course, Angela Yee was in there. And whoever she was with. But for me, I'm like, <laughs> what benefit do I get on just spending $500 on a date to show you I'm balling? If they don't know who you are and they don't know your credentials and they don't know what you're about <laughs> prior to the date, because y'all, y'all, y'all famous, man. If, if you're, if you're, purpose of the date is just to impress you and show you that I got money. Okay, you proved that. But then again, you just spent $500 that you really didn't have to spend unless something is guaranteed. Now, I'm going to assume that you can pretty much believe that your night's going to end pretty well if you drop in $500 on a meal. And that would be false. Why? Because in this modern era, ladies and gentlemen, it is an expectation of men to be dropping money like that on dates. Oh, you supposed to do this. You supposed to do that. That's that's the expectation now. Most of these women, <laughs> you supposed to be spending this type of money on me and not have any expectation on anything in return. That's the expectation. Oh, how dare you take me somewhere and expect something from me? Oh, if you can't afford it, just tell me you're broke, right? You know, the shame attack is for anybody like myself who just can't justifiably. Or there's no way in my there's no way in my mind I could justify spending that type of money. That's what I'm trying to get to. Now, again, if I could find a way to use it as a tax write off, <laughs> a little different, right? If it's a business dinner or we could tax write this bitch off again from the business perspective, I could see how we could justify it. But if I'm just taking you out on a date just because. And nothing's guaranteed, that's a tough one for me. And even there, just thinking about it, bruh, it's $500 base price for a meal. It's the, it, 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 is, is the, <laughs> is the hope that you're going to get you some in the end really worth that 500 number one. And what if it doesn't, let's say you do get it. Let's say you don't live up to the $500 height. 
how can you justify it after that? Let's say you get you some. <laughs> Does it live up to the five hundred dollar hype? If it doesn't, then basically you can't justify spending that five hundred. Now, for somebody like myself, somebody who's been abroad, somebody who loves life abroad, somebody who's been in places where five hundred go a long way, I can really figure out a way to make that five hundred work to the best of my abilities, and I can show you how that five hundred can really work in most areas when you go abroad as opposed to one date. I believe even my man's in the video a while back that uh, the big bro O'Shea posted about my man talking about why men shouldn't date women in the U.S. In that video, he said that he went to Austin, I want to say in Texas, and he said that the money he spent one night or two nights in that particular city was enough to last him for two months in Brazil. A waste of time. I, even because now, even when I, if I go on a date, when I, every time I spend money in the United States, I think about how much would it have been in Brazil and how much f money am I wasting. I go to Austin, Texas. I love Austin, Texas. I go over there to hang out for three days. That money it costs me to hang out in Austin for three days pays for two months in Colombia. Why the f would I date over here in the United States? You, first, you're going to spend all your money here. And when you think about it like that, if you calculate it like that, you can't justify it because it just don't make sense. And I think only brothers who travel will be able to make this equation, right? Or be able to equate or be able to understand exactly where I'm coming from. Again, if you're rich, $500 don't mean shit to you. Just because I can't justify spending $500 on a date of any kind. The first words people go say, oh, you just broke, <laughs> right? And again, shaming, shaming, shaming tactics number one and one on one. I understand that sometimes it's utilized as a motivation for brothers to get they get they ish together, and I respect that 100%. But I do believe that even if I was worth far more money than I'm worth right now, I still would probably have these same thoughts. I still would have it. I would still find it very difficult to be able to justify spending five hundred dollars. I don't know about y'all, but I know about me, and that's how I feel. All right. If you guys made millions and millions of dollars and you had millions in the bank, $500 ain't shit, but you came from nothing or you came from a place where in, you know, coming up, it just won't as easy. Could you still find a way to justify $500 dinners with the zero guarantees? That's what I would want to know. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, man, please feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support the channel in any capacity, you already know what to do. Y'all take care, man. Y'all stay blessed, man. Docs on to the next one. Peace.